Talalak, the t Talak, the Tough Actin Tanactin. The Talalak is an exotic scout rifle that is specific for the Warlock. You will get this quest after reaching rank 3 with the Gunsmith. Once you reach rank 3, just like with the Titan or with the Hunter, he's going to give you the Back in Saddle quest. The Back in the Saddle quest is really short and really easy, and you get an exotic at the end of it. And just like the Hunter's Ace of Spades or the Titan's Fabian strategy, you have to gather weapon data for whatever weapon that may be. So it's a scout rifle, pop a primary telemetry, or a scout rifle. I had a scout rifle one, so I just popped that. You can buy primary from the gunsmith if you don't have one. Doesn't take very long, guys. Probably going to take you, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to knock it out. I mean, if that. It's really, really quick. So once you complete that, you got to go back to Banshee. And the next step in the quest is going to be to dismantle rare or legendary scout rifles. Fabian strategy would be assault rifles, ace of spades, hand cannon. I don't know how many rares it takes. Legendary, it's going to be two. You need to get 10 weapon parts. Once you do that, you got to go back to Banshee again. And then he will present you with the Talalak, the Talalak. And at first glances, it, you know, it just looks like just an ordinary gun. Doesn't look too special in any way. You know, it just, it just doesn't look like anything special. It has a grenade on it. Kills with this weapon, reduce the cooldown of your grenade, which is awesome if you're a warlock. I think that's probably why they went with that perk. And it's a good PvP gun. I have some clips here. You'll see Eye of the Storm weapon comes more accurate as your health gets lower. Again, that's kind of, you know, I'd say a PvP perk. Pretty basic stuff in the middle. Nothing that stands out. And then Overflow. This weapon has better handling, rate of fire, and stability while the wielder's super is charged. So if you do not use your super at all, it's going to buff all those things that it has listed. So that's kind of the trade-off. If you don't use your super, you know, the gun's going to perform better. Though, you're not going to be able to use your super. It's still a really good gun, even if you're not saving your super. You see here, I mean, I'm still getting kills. It has a lot of impact. It hits hard. And, you know, it's a gun you're going to want to use on, you know, the longer maps, the maps that have good sight lines. You know, if you are close proximity to people, you're going to get killed. You're going to get shotgunned. You're going to get beat out by pulse rifles and whatnot. But it is a solid gun. I actually enjoyed using it in Crucible. I mean, I have never used a scout rifle in Crucible. Like, maybe the Trials of Osiris Year 1, I maybe used that for a little bit. But then I got the Messenger, and I was like, dude, the Messenger. I'll take that over the scout. Though I do remember the Year 1 scout rifle for Trials being really awesome because it hit hard. Had really, really good impact. Here's some clips with my Super Saved. I'm using it right here. And I mean, dude, this thing's awesome. I'm not going to lie, I had a lot of fun using it. Warlocks, I would definitely try it out, even if you're not a scout rifle guy. I'm not a scout rifle guy either. You'll see this next kill right here. I shoot this guy like four times, and he's done. I mean, it ate that guy's health up. So if you want to save your super, or you're playing, you know, a self-res, I had uh, the Sith Lord on, which I like to use in Crucible, even though it's super weak. Though I do get a little triple right here, I think, or a double. I don't know, but man, dude, I swear, the storm, storm caller. look at this range, though. How am I not killing this dude? Dude, the range on this thing sucks. Anyway, this gun has a little bit more impact uh, than the Hung Jury, you, so you can kind of compare those two if you do have the Hung Jury. That's a dead orbit gun for anybody that hasn't heard of that gun. It's a really, really good scout rifle. I would highly suggest getting it if you enjoy scout rifles. I'm not personally a scout rifle guy, but I still got it. It has some awesome perks on it, triple tap, and also firefly. I know this video is about the tough act and tenactin, but the hung jury is a really good scout rifle if you want to get it. Then I also checked out the trial scout rifle compared to this. This has a ton more impact. Trial scout rifle is going to have a lot more rate of fire and it's full auto, but after using this, this thing is a beast and i'm average at pvp so if i'm doing well with this if you're good at pvp you're gonna probably wreck with this though i guess it depends on your play style i had to kind of hang back i like to rush and push i don't really like sitting still but if you play style is more defensively this gun's gonna be awesome and especially if you play control and everything like that like it's a good control gun but like I said, if you push up, you're in close quarters, you're in that kind of mid-range game, you're going to lose the pulse rifles, you're going to lose the shotguns. 
But all in all, it's a great gun. Highly suggest going after it, Warlocks. It doesn't take much. You only got to be rank 3. Even if you don't have a lot of time to play, it's really easy to get. And, you know, they don't make you wait for arms day and make you wait a week to get it. You get it right away. Once you hit rank 3, it's going to take you 15, 20 minutes. You're going to get an exotic from Banshee. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to leave you with this. I'm storm collaring this Titan, and he still has time to pop his super and one-shot me. Yep.